and welcome to race two here. It's race two and it's a one mile six furlong class two handicap for 0 to 100 rated horses. And we have Hendrix for Michael Scala, Quattro Catch for James Shea, Hishan Luda for Vinnie Gerard, Pitch Perfect for Pontypool Racing, Deed of the Day for C Beckwith, Winks Dan Hughes, Rince Wassley for Davy Ladd, Highland Gala, Martin Leiden, Melbourne Namibia, Davy Ladd, Treasure De Carla, Alex Sins, Evil Wind, Martin Leiden, and the last one is Red Law for Alex Cherry, and we are off. In the Betfred Old Borough Cup here. Race 2, week 10. And vying the way to the front of the pack is Quattro Catch here. In the centre and nearest to us there, getting a good start as well, is number 1 Hendrix. He's just moving himself down the back of the pack there. In at the rail we have Pitch Perfect. And he's now going to run alongside Quattro Catch. About two lengths ahead of Rince Wassamy on the rail. Deal of the day. Evil Wind to the inside of Rince Wasmi, Treasure to Carla, and behind those we have Winx, Melbourne, Namibia, Hendrix, Highland Gala just moving a bit further forward there, Hishan Luda, and last of all on the rail at the back is Red Law. There's only about 15 lengths covering first to last here as Quattro Catch moves on at what is a decent clip. We've got Quattro Catch moving on a length from Pitch Perfect. On this boggy day, they're about two or three lengths clear of deal of the day. Who's running with his inner? We have Winx, Treasure to Carla. They're all just sort of packed up there. On the outside, Hendrix nearest. And behind Hendrix, we also have Hishan Luda. Still red low the back marker as we move with a mile left to travel. And it's still Quattro Catch. A length and a half ahead of Pitch Perfect, who is still just cruising along on the horse there with a couple in hand of Deal of the Day. And on the inside, making a little bit of a move there is Rince Wasmi, who's getting himself a little bit closer order. And moving on now with five and a half furlongs left to travel, it's still Quattro Catch being asked to move on there, trying to increase his lead. But he seems to have a little bit of a uh, party joining him at the minute in Pitch Perfect, Rince Wasmi and Deal of the Day wants to have a chat and on the outside here comes Hendrix who's thinking about strumming his banter in the scene and we've got Quattro Catch for a length and a half ahead with Rince Wasmi who's looking poised to challenge here we meant enter the three furlong marker Quattro Catch though he's been first from the very off and to be fair he seems like he's moving a couple in hand and it's Quattro Catch who's got a few on now from Rince, Quas, Rince Wasmi with Hendrix on the outside and on his in inside Pritch Perfect is trying to get involved with behind that evil wind and look on the outside there we've got Treasure De Carla coming through trying to give it a challenge as we move into the final two furlongs it's Quattro Catch and Hendrix has moved up here now to challenge but behind him here is Pitch Perfect as we're coming in for a stealthy Larry finish here we've got Pitch Perfect, Rince Wasmi and Quattro Catch and it looks like Pitch Perfect and Rince Wasmi are going to fight it out. Oh, it's going to be a toughie. He's not going to make it. It's going to be Pitch Perfect who's going to hold on. And you think he's just got that buy ahead to Rince Wasmi. Treasure to call it looking like he ran on there. And Melbourne, remember, I ran on too. But that was a very tight race. Pitch Perfect, Rince Wasmi second. Quattro catch the treasure to Carla. So it's Pontypool racing there with a 5 to 4 favourite. And to be fair, he uh, he looked apart the whole way. Rince Wasmi there looked a good good finisher. And Quattro catch was unfortunate because he, he did travel well the whole race. 